So I'm going to be opening up Unit 2 really soon, and uh, I'm going to do a, a video on Unit 2. So let me open up my handy dandy sketch pad here. And uh, by the way, I'm using, you know, we're using the seventh edition book here. Uh, if you have an older edition, then you're going to be kind of running around trying to figure out what's going on if I call out page numbers and so forth. So uh, let's think about this. So we have a need. And in that need, we might say, well, I have a house, I need a house, I need a structure, I need an office, any number of things. And from that, we're going to come up with an idea. And from that idea, we're going to end up with uh, a picture. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. Okay. Picture is worth a thousand words. So, um... Let me, let me draw this circle right quick. And I'm going to draw this, um, this oval. And I'm going to draw a, a straight line. Obviously, I've lost my mind, right? So, again, pictures can get a, a thought through much faster than anything else. So, if I wanted to draw a house then I can draw me a house. There it is. There's my house. And I'll put that little kindergarten chimney on there with some smoke coming out of it. And uh, the door. The little doorknob and the windows. Put the windows on the second story here where we can't, we don't have anything on the front story. Is this not the typical kindergarten? It's a house. You understood it. But I could do things a little differently and kind of come up with an idea to show you that Here's a house that has a little bit more depth to it, even though it's crooked, it's about to fall down. But you get the idea, okay? A picture's worth a thousand words. So to start with, we have a couple of different uh, types of drawings that we use. The first I want to talk about is an isometric. Isometric um, is basically starts out with a negative 30, a positive 30, and then a 90. Okay, all of the aspects of this start out with 30, negative 30, 90. Okay, so with that said, I can draw me a little box. or a cube, and there I go. I, I, I for, forgive me for my shakiness. I've all, all the time been shaky like this. So there is an isometric, but you know, it could be, you know, we can draw a building out of it if we need to. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me a straight edge right quick where I can draw a little purtier so everything don't look like crap. Okay, so I'm going to get my 30, and, or my negative 30, my 30, and I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And then I'm going to get my up, uptown funk going on here, and the other side whoops come here you there do some erasing a little bit here wow I must not have got that other one at 30 degrees there but you get the gist of it all right so I can make my building like so, all right? Next is a, shut up Alexa, I'm not talking to you. The next, I want to do an oblique. 
O B L I Q U E. Oblique. Don't pick on me for looking at how to spell it now. All right, so an oblique uses 90. Zero. And then 45. Let me grab my 45 over here. And 45. This is kind of difficult to do because I can't see my pad. All right, so the question is, is this line and these lines the same? Probably not, because this looks a little elongated. So I'm going to attempt, I'm going to put me a piece of paper down here on this thing, and I'm going to draw out to scale. You know, I probably could get a better piece of paper. Draw out to scale. A, uh, a square here, so, and then I'm going to trace over it so you see it. Just give me a second. So I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to draw this square. Ooh, I'm learning. This is fun. Look at that. Cool beans. And then here goes my 45. Okay, then I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle and attach that. And then I can go over here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to attach those two. I made the mistake. There, not square. Okay, now the question is, does this look the same? Does this side and this side and this side all look the same? No, it does not. This is five. Oh, I gotta go back here and grab my pencil. This is five units. This is five units, and believe it or not, this is five units. This is called a cavalier. Cavalier. How do you spell cavalier? Cavalier. Cavalier. That's that's terrible. Hey Alexa, how do you spell cavalier? Cavalier is spelled C A. V-A-L-I-E-R. There you go. Cavalier oblique. Don't make fun of me. Okay. I done told you I can't spell anything. Cavalier oblique. Now, let me go back and change it up a little bit. Where'd my pencil go? Change it up a little bit so that I can show you what we do to make it really look right. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. Let's get my handy dandy measuring stick out again. You guys are going to get to play with your measuring sticks. That didn't come out right. Uh, so I hope that you're able to get a rule, a, an elect, I mean, um, um, an architectural rule so that you can kind of play with this a little bit and 
Let's see how things go. Ooh, this is gonna be a pretty picture. Excuse me, jeez. My hamburgers from lunch coming back and talking to me. Okay. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw this. And we're gonna draw this. And that. And this. And now we have the same square that we had over there. And now I'm going to draw the sides. There. Now, does this look correct like a cube? We have five here. We have five here, and we have 2.5 here. This is called a cabinet oblique. You need to know the difference in these. A cavalier oblique has all equal lengths. Okay, so this is this line here is at zero. This one is at 90. This one is at 45 degrees. All right, but on a cabinet, we have zero, we have 90, and yes, we have 45. But the 45 degree is equal to half the length. Okay, half the length. So this tricks our eye into making it think that this is a perfect cube when we're trying to draw an oblique. All right, so there's two drawings down out of the way. You should know. An oblique and what was the other one? 30, 0, 30, or 30, 90, 30, 90, 30 was... Isometric. There you go. Isometric. Okay. Bam. All right. So let's keep it going a little bit. So, so far, everything that we've talked about have been three-dimensional uh, views. So we had, the, uh, we had the isometric. Okay. So it looks like this. And then uh, iso. Then we had the oblique. And it was square, and then we went halfway with our sides. So there's the oblique. So what other 3D type of drawings do we have? Well, let's see. Let's take a drive here. So uh, I'm going to get on my handy-dandy motorcycle, and I'm going to go for a ride in the desert. I'm on my motorcycle, and I'm traveling down the road and uh, down through the desert and there we go all right so this is a three-dimensional drawing but what is it called it's called a one point perspective hey alexa how do you spell perspective perspective is spelled p e R-S-P-E-C-T-I-V-E. -E. Thank you. One point perspective. Happy okay. Thursday. Oh, happy Thursday to you too. Thank you. All right. So this is a one point perspective. All right. So we could put a fence down through here and you'd know everything from, from that is going to, you know, as it comes and gets closer to our eye, it's going to be further apart. So these little fence posts here are going to get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until you can't see them, all right? Uh, so, you know, a house here beside the road is these sides here are still going to project out towards this. The, the ridges as well, man, that's a sucky ridge. But then, you know, this house that's going to be way down the road here, it's going to be very small. 
but it still goes towards that point there. So all these lines just disappear into that point. All right. One point perspective. I want you to remember that. You're going to, you're going to see these again and again and again and again. This is so much better than whiteboard because my hands don't get dirty. Oh my God. I used to wipe the, the board down with my hand and I'd have all kinds of colors across my hand and it's terrible. Okay, so let's go on to the next drawing. So I'm gonna draw me a line here, very light line, just to kind of keep me going. All right, and let's see, I'm gonna put me a line about right here. And then I'm gonna draw the side. Let's try that one again. And this side. I'm gonna put me a I'm gonna put me a door here. Whoops. Let's go a little higher. Go right there with the door. We'll make us a nice little quiet little door here. We'll make it a double door, put some little pretty glass lines on here and then we're going to do some some peaceful little windows okay we'll just have a whole row of peaceful little windows across our building here and as they go down they're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller until I get to the end now let's put some we'll put some cute little Nice little toasty windows over here. Whole row of them. See if we can't get that line straight. And we'll make the bottom portion on here as well. And then we'll put some lines in. Nice little peaceful windows. We'll make them glare a little bit. All right, so now we have our building. The lines might not be straight. I didn't say I was an artist. So you get an idea of the depth of this building because we have two points. A two point perspective. It's okay, Alexa, I got it this time, thank you. One, two. Okay. Large eraser. There we go. What was the name of that movie that had the monsters that eat time after time had left? Long something like Lano's or something. I forgot what it was. I don't remember. Okay. So we're coming on down. Let's go to New York City. All right. So we're going to put us a dot down here and a dot down here. And we're going to put us a dot way up here. And we're going to draw us a line straight down through there. And dang if I didn't miss that line right there, didn't I? All right. So now I'm going to go cross here to this line and then I'm going to go up to that point and have another line over here and I'm going to go up to that point sometimes it's better to come down okay so this line here needs to go to this line okay that's the the roof of that building right there Okay, and this one is going to go to this line over or to this dot over here. If I could keep it straight, that's what my wife says about driving. If you could keep it straight, we'd be get there, okay? All right, so you know, we're going to have all sorts of different stories going down through there, but I don't, you know, except for that one, that one fell. Uh, all of them need to go 
towards that line right or towards that dot right there even when I get down here they're all going to kind of fan towards this this dot right here and the ones on this side are going to fan over here all right so all of these need to you know to fan out without falling off like that now even though it's a crooked building you know you get the idea all right a one point perspective now you know when we make these points so this is you know this is whoop, we'll keep it the same one point two points and three points at any time that I'm drawing something here look on your computer and you will have a button that says print screen if you want to save these for your notes hit that button print screen then go over here to the start button click on it and open up paint and when you get to paint you want to go in there and you want to hit control C T R L I'm reading on what's on the button the you know that buttons over here on your keyboard hit control hold the control and then I want you to hit V as in victory and that will paste that picture onto paint and then you can save it as a JPEG or whatever you want to so I should have told you that a little sooner but any time of any of my uh, anytime I'm going through any of my lectures or anything you can print screen at that moment and save it to paint and then you have it okay so now we have the three point perspective we don't go to four points uh, if you were standing say in this part of the building here looking at this other building over here and we tried to look at that that's what it would look like all right so you know this this looks a little whoops you know that's getting a little bit absurd there when we try to think about that but that's what it is I mean because we're standing halfway in the middle of it this is gonna be the thickest part right and then you know it's gonna start dying off but that's what it's gonna look like so we don't we don't go that far it looks stupid okay so these are all dang it these are all well these are all 3d okay so now quiz time what are the 3d uh, drawings what was the first one do you remember I can't hear you say it a little louder I can't hear you I'll laugh my butt off any of you guys shout first one is come on work with me well what the heck come on this thing is dying on me here there we go the first one was isometric the second one was orth I mean um, blah, 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 oblique and then we had the perspectives okay so all of these all right so our next one is going to be an orthographic orthographic don't know if I told you guys this or not but I'm dyslexic uh, as well as stupid where I can't read and so I get my letters and numbers mixed up so you'll see me write stuff backwards sometimes so let's think about an orthographic view all right so uh, this is my front view all right so this is my front view and I'm gonna let you guys guess what it is I think I heard somebody in the background say it. 
That's right. It's my iPhone. Okay. So that's the front view of my iPhone. Okay. So now I need to draw the side view of it. looks pretty much like it don't you think okay now I need to draw the top view so which is the top the top all right so the top view it's just got a line across it okay so I have my top I have my side and I have my front all right so this is orthographic projection meaning that you know I could let's go to a different color In other words, I projected everything over and they're exactly the same. All right. So where do, would we see such a thing? Let me show you where we'd see such a thing. Look at there. They're all over the place. Don't believe me. I want you to, I want you to watch this. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the first floor plan and we'll copy it. place it up here I'm going to take the front view and I'm going to place it up here and I'm going to take my side view and I'm going to place it up here now let me put a couple of lines in here to kind of help get everything lined up rid of some of this non-essential stuff and now I'm going to put me in a, a line at 45 degree angle from from where from there yeah I believe it is there from this point right there okay and I'm going to go vertical and then I'm going to go horizontal again Remember I told you it was an orthographic projection. All right. So if I go horizontal on my top of my roof, top of that roof, and the sides, look at there. That top of roof hit there perfectly. This one here hit there perfectly. Don't believe me. There's a line underneath there. What you see that line? There's a line underneath there. See that? There's the bottom of my little hips there. All right. 
Now I'm gonna take it even a, a, a step further. So I can say that these are going to line up sides of the door, sides of the door, sides of the door, sides of the door. See that? See how they line up with the sides of the door? Okay. Now, uh, what about this side? Is this side right? Let's find out. So I'm going to go with a horizontal line. Nope. I'm going to go with a vertical line. And when that vertical line crosses that uh, 45 degree angle line, I'm going to put my horizontal line in. Look at that. It hit that line perfect. Watch this. Right there it is. See, I just highlighted it. There it is. So that is orthographic projection. So meaning that all of these are drawn to the same uh, to the same scale. They're all going to line up, and I can use these to to draw this. So generally, what happens is I draw my my floor plan off first. And then I will pull me some, you know, some verticals on here at my, my important spots. And then by knowing my heights, then I can come down here and I can just bam, 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 get my heights. And I've got everything under control. So that's, that's pretty cool right there. That is the orthographic projection. Now, we also have an orthographic projection. Wow, that was sour. Orthographic projection. I'm gonna back up so I don't mess up this program or this file. So this is one of the houses that I've been drawing on for a little bit here and I don't wanna lose it. Cause I noticed I moved one thing and it should have yeah, I moved the front elevation. I should have just copied it. Okay, so we have plans. Now, all of these are still part of the orthographic projection. So I've got the first floor plan. I've got the second floor plan. I have the foundation plan. So a plan means it's nothing more than a bird's eye view of the building. Remember what I said. It's the bird's eye view of the building. You may see that again, so make sure you remember that. The plan is the bird's eye view of the building. Okay, so then we get our elevations. So we have the front elevation, we have the left elevation, we have the right elevation, and we have the rear elevation. So those are elevations. So it's funny. So uh, I used to do interpreting for uh, some of the deaf children or the deaf kids over at the deaf school when they were going to Western Piedmont. And uh, so you had to sign a little bit different. So you had elevation, meaning, you know, elevation, the elevation here is nine foot one and a half. All right. And that would be signed elevation. But then when you talk about a rear elevation, you don't say a rear elevation, you say a rear elevation. That way you get the picture, okay? So it's it, a little, that's my little funny story for that because I had a student that didn't understand what, what the interpreter was talking about, you know, an elevation. So you have, again, we have plans. This is a roof framing plan showing how all of the roof is going to be come together. And then we have uh, sections, all right? So sections just cut off a piece of, of, the, of the thing. And we generally, yes, I do have the elevation markings or the, um, the section markings here. So I'm gonna put that on there just so that you understand what's going on there, okay? And then I'm gonna do it again over here. And you'll notice that I'm, I, I do cut through that door right there but on that, I, I didn't really show it. I just went ahead and, and just showed the kitchenette and that door in the family room and the water heater that is 
in this section here. I, I left off that door, it's not important. So give you an idea of what a building section looks like. That means that we, we basically cut this building in half and draw what we see in there. Oh, something let me say, let me share this to you with. So the first floor plan, the second floor plan, basically we would go into the first and the second floors and we're going to cut those off at 36 inches. All right. So if, if we wanted to look at this on the first floor plan, I'm cutting that off at 36 inches. And the reason behind that is, let me, let me move these two to a different, to the second story here. The reason that being, see how it cuts through the windows? It cuts through the windows, but we can still see the handrails. It cuts through the doors, and it's going to show the kitchen counters and stuff as well. Um, hang on, just let me, let me figure out something. So 36 times 1.5 is 37.5. Okay, so I'm going to put another horizontal line down here. The reason that I did that is because this particular drawing is drawn at 3 8 so I can't, uh, what did I say, 37.5. Uh, so when I go 37.5, that ain't right. Let's try that again. 36 times 1.5 is 54. I was going to say that, don't, that didn't work out. All right, so 54 inches. Come on, work with me. There you go. See how it, it just shows the top of that counter right there. All right. I don't cut through the counter that way that I can go in here and I can show the counter. All right. So the counter, the counter, the counter is uh, in yellow here. I got the sink. I got the stove. What are these dotted lines here? Anything above uh, what your, your plane here is going to be a dotted line. So let's go back down here to the section. Uh, what is above that? Look at there. It's kitchen cabinets. All right. I can't see those. <laughs> They're not in, the, not in the screen, so I show them as a dotted line. Okay. So there is that. And then uh, we have details. So details show the most detail. Remember what I said, details show the most detail. So we have, you know, this little footing here, but in, you know, we don't even show it over here on these elevations. But when you go to the detail, there it is. It's got a lot of detail in it. It's showing us what everything is going to be used to build this thing. Uh, we have a detail of how these things are going to go together. And uh, then we have the elevate, or the, excuse me, we have the sections. Uh, they, you know, the sections are okay, but the details show the most detail. Which one is most right? Let's say that you're looking over here and this maybe this note says 36 by 36 footing. Then you come over here and this one says uh, 24 by 24 by 24 by 12. And I'm like, well, hell. And then I come over here and I look at this detail right there. Whatever this says, this coincides, this, this is this is the superior mother right there. So this is the one that you want to go by is the one from the detail. If there's ever a question, you call the architect uh, and ask. So in that case, you would uh, you would look on here and you would call whoever drew this and then they can look on here and find out who drew it, which I drew it. Uh, and then they can say, hey, you messed up on this one and that one and that one. Usually we go over these drones with a fine tooth comb before, ever the, before they ever go out. Uh, and this, these uh, details and so forth like that, a lot of times we use them on so many drawings. They're, they're, we just use them again and again and again and again. So, yeah, so that gives you a good uh, going on the orthographic projection. So let's go a little further and let's talk about another type of drawing. I know you've seen these, an explosive drawing, and it's not this. <laughs> drawing 
draw explosion draw explosive let's get that right explosive drawing there see how much different they are this is an explosive drawing all right so you've we've basically taking something and we're taking an air compressor at this point and we're pulling it out so we can show all the parts and it's an explosive view it's not an explosion i don't know why they <laughs> but this is an explosive uh, or an exploded view of a drill so that we can do parts and pieces on it and almost all companies do that so let's see uh motorcycles bike bandit come on geez bike bandit. i'm gonna get this thing out of my way here and i go into bike bandit and i need a new uh part for my bmw or something so i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna hit to 1999 BMW and then it comes up here and I want to do um, body parts so I need uh, let's say I need oh let's say I need a new mirror look at that there is all the bits and pieces of that mirror for my motorcycle uh, let's say I need an adjustable windshield there's all the pieces for the adjustable windshield. So let's go a little deeper and I need uh, um, a transmission. There we go. Holy mother of God. Five speed transmission. Okay, so there's parts and more parts and more parts. And look when I get to the clutch. I just replaced that bad boy last summer on that sucker. So that was all the parts in it. So, you know, and, and then I, the whole bike had to come apart. But anyway, getting off of this, this an explosive view. So uh, I think, I think that takes care of all the views uh, that we have. So if you have any questions, give me a text.